Hello YouTube, this is going to be a review of the beautiful a puddle skirt outfit from Mary Ellen's collection. I know this is an outfit that came out a few years ago, but I just bought it um, last week. So I'm very excited about making a review of it. So the doll that we have modeling this outfit is Nanea, who in my house is renamed Almudena. I chose her to wear this outfit today because I think it looks very, very nice on her skin tone. I think it suits her very well. Okay, so let's go for a review of the outfit itself. Okay, so first we have a beautiful blouse. is of a peachy salmon pink color. It's very nice. It's a very vibrant color. And uh, let's go for the features of the blouse. Okay, so it has a very nice Peter Pan color. I love it. I have many blouses for myself with this color. It's very, very nice. And it reminds me of the movie Peter Pan of Wendy. And one of the features that I like a lot about this blouse too is the, um, the sleeves, the cap sleeves that it has. It has a very, very nice material. It's sort of like a chiffon. It's different from the, the more cotton-like material of the blouse. And also, the outfit comes with a scarf that you can use sort of as a scarf um, for her, her, her head to cover it. You can use it in a high ponytail. Or you can do what I did and use it as a side ponytail. I thought that with uh, Almudena's hair, it would look better on her as a side ponytail. You can see that the coral on the blouse and on the, on the scarf uh, look very, very nicely with her lips. So I think she's perfect for this outfit. The buttons are faux. They're not... Um, they're faux buttons, so the blouse has velcro on the back. Uh, but regardless of that, it's very, very nice. Okay, so we have a beautiful full skirt, and I actually happen to have a similar one to this. Not with a puro though. So it's a black skirt, it goes below the knees. It's very, very full. You can see that she's not wearing a crinoline yet it still maintains a very full appearance. Um, so, okay, it has a detail, a stitched detail of a leash going down from her waist to the poodle on the side. And the poodle is of a nice satin material. It's a French looking poodle. It's very, very nice. The poodle has this bow stitched onto it is of the same color of the blouse it's very very beautiful and you can see that even though she's not wearing her crinoline the look of the skirt is very very full so finally we have the shoes these are called saddle shoes and were very prevalent on the 50s which is mary ellen's time period and yes as the other uh, reviews say the shoes are a bit difficult to get on, but they're very, very, very well made. It's of a pleather material. It is a little thin, but what I love about the shoes is that once you put them on your toe, she stays. They stay, I mean, she stays standing. Unless she's a toe with very wobbly legs, she's not going to wobble, she's not going to fall backwards, she's going to stay. So overall, I would give this outfit an A+, plus, and as many pluses as, as I could get because it's a very, very nice outfit. Of course, with the crinoline, it would look 10 times better probably, and I plan on um, getting a crinoline for it, but even without it, it looks very, very nice. So I plan to buy a few more outfits for, from Mary Ellen's collection. Now that they came out with a new party dress and a new school dress, I love them 
and I plan to purchase them for my doll so they can have a nifty 50, nifty 50s uh, day so they can time travel. Okay, thank you so much for watching.